<clears throat> All right, folks, here we are. It's a 2019 Toyota RAV4 XLE, the all-wheel drive model. This is my rental while my car was in the shop because I got rear-ended. So I figured I'd do a quick look around and a little intro video of my take on what I think I what I think about this and what I like and don't like. It's pretty good. Got full LED headlights up front, fog lights, and shiny Toyota emblem. Sitting on 17 inch rims. Pretty decent. Full keyless entry, so that unlocks the car. Do it from the other side, unlocks all doors. But yeah, here we are inside the car. And so you got a steering wheel. Unlike my Nissan, the control that was a little different, so it's a little hard getting used to. But yeah, the fact that it's keyless was all was one of the good parts I did like about it. So I'm saying here, let me get this zoom in on there. Okay, the zoom sucks on this thing. I guess it's terrible. But yeah. Press that. And she fires right up. Got that splash screen, which is pretty nice. Yeah, rental car, so that'll probably do the oil change. So it's a pretty informative gauge. You got a huge interface screen. Tells you things like your trip information. When I connect my phone, it connects to Apple CarPlay, which is on this thing, which is a great thing. Electronic parking brake. You got your three transmission modes and your three all-wheel drive control modes. Standard automatic transmission with the sport shift mode. No paddle shifter switch. I would figure for a higher end would be a thing, but yeah, that's still pretty good. Get there and navigate. Good. Focus on the button to start and stop the car. But yeah automatic high beam assists so when you turn the headlights on and you push the well it was okay so it's pushed in push the thing in it'll automatically use the high beams as needed so now the car started we'll get a better walk around here but that's it while it's running ac's on to keep the car cool so i'm about to take it back here like i said when you unlock it from that side it only unlocks just the driver's door but here we have the back and like I said, this is the XLE model. So we got some higher minis that I wish I could have had in my car. I mean, I have things like the rear vents for rear AC, but this has two USB ports. They won't stay up, so yeah. 2.1 amp USB ports, which would be good for my job as a left driver. And shush. And I've owned a RAV4 before, it's like a 96. So I know they're actually really roomy vehicles. So, but yeah, back a little bit. There's my stuff from my car that I left in here. So yeah, the pretty roomy trunk space. Got a little privacy tonneau cover, which I never use because I don't like those things. But yeah, there's that. So here we go. There's everything there, all four doors. Got your digital dual zone climate controls. Plenty of cu storage cubbies, which is good. Nice cup holders. Unlike the older RAV4s where the cup holders were weirdly placed, to a point where a large Starbucks cup would not fit in my driver's side cup holder. Never did like that, but that's definitely an improvement. I do like the dual exhaust design on the back. That's always a good thing to me. Uh, let's do, take a look at the powerhouse. It's going to be like that because it's, it is a keyless vehicle. So when the key is not detected inside the car, it lets you know by doing that. Here we go. Ah. So yeah, Russian camera is the zip side. Here's a four cylinder motor. 
I don't know the motor code for this. That's the 0W16. I've actually learned a few things about this vehicle, as you can see. So yeah. Pretty good motor and an actual non-CVT transmission, AC, which it suffers for gas mileage, but you still get that performance that a lot of people like about regular transmissions over CVTs. I mean, it's it's a personal preference to me, in my opinion. I mean, I like the idea of the transmission like, you know, gears, I can actually feel the gear shifting versus the simulation of a gear shift. But I also, being a driver professionally, like the idea of good gas mileage. But yep, there it is, four cylinder to the motor. Put it smoothly. Ah. And yeah, here we go. Our little radar systems inside our logo there, which is going to lead me to the next thing I like about this vehicle. Lane keeping assistance. So basically, that little icon right there in the corner, and the radar cruise active. So basically, when I set everything up with those two buttons right there that sets up the lane tracking so it's let me know if I get out of the lane and that button sets up the uh, distance between the car my car and the car in front of me so this thing pretty much when that's active you literally don't have to touch any of the pedals unless you know emergency says otherwise like you know someone jumps in front of you and you don't think the car will do it in time but I actually tested this out on the highway and it literally controlled itself. I was behind the semi and it literally stopped and everything on its own. It stopped the traffic, the car stopped, and it would make me push this button again to resume driving itself. And it just picked back up like normal, which is actually really freaking cool in my opinion. But yep, that's that. That's pretty much, if, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you. There's two more USB ports inside there which is pretty cool so yeah it's got a lot of parts got your usb port for your apple carplay not sure if it does android auto so mm, i would say probably does but i don't know because i have an iphone can't demonstrate that because i'm using that said phone now to record yeah all in all pretty solid car so i'm gonna go fill this up with gas and return it and get back in my nissan but yeah that was that all in all it's a pretty sturdy vehicle another thing i do like about this like my nissan does when you turn the car off it gives you a summary of your driving for that time frame so basic distance total distance your average fuel economy and time driving really informative so you can keep an eye on how well you're driving or not well depending on how you look at it but yeah that's pretty much the 2019 rav4 in a nutshell I'll catch y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching.